All right, so I'm making this video about my Salvia Divinorum trip that I did back in 2018. It was it was 2017 or 18, um, but it was at it was in December. I remember that, and so I'm making this video about that, and it's the only psychedelic that I've done to date. But I actually plan on doing a magic mushroom trip um, up in Vancouver, Canada next year in um in may and i'm looking around for trip sitters i'm not sure who i should ask i know my uncle um has done magic mushrooms and i know a friend in uh, santa cruz california who did who's done magic mushrooms a couple times and my, one of my cousins has done magic mushrooms so you know there's a couple people who i know who I could ask to be the trip sitter. So, anyways. Um, so, yeah, basically, I did Salvia Divinorum uh, a couple of years ago. And this is this is basically how I got a hold of it and my experience with it. Uh, why I probably will do it again at some point. Um and maybe talk about some of the um, some of the pros and cons of it. So, anyways, um, basically, around the time that I tried it, I I had been smoking weed for about a year at this point, and so had my younger brother. My my younger brother's only a year younger than me. So we had we had both been smoking weed for about a year and a half at this point, and he was going to a different high school than I was. Um, uh, but the cities were really close to each other, so I was smoking weed over there with some friends, and he was smoking weed with his friends at his high school. And so occasionally our two groups would meet up and we would smoke together, and that would be really fun. Um, kind of like a little stoner's club. And basically, like we were talking one time where everybody was sitting around. Um, and at a, we were out, all at a park and we were smoking. And uh, we were like, have you guys done any other um, drugs besides weed? Like is is coke or, or um, what's that other one? coke like lsd like is any of that stuff like floating around your school because it's not in ours like at our school like it was a private christian school mine was and so you know most of the people there were not into anything besides weed that was pretty much it but at this public high school with a much larger amount of people and uh more deviant kind of kids going to it the likelihood of, of Coke and LSD and stuff like that is there's a higher chance. So they're like, yeah, some of that stuff is floating around. Uh, but the only things that we have done, I mean, we know some people who have done like LSD and Coke, but we kind of stay away from that. Um, but there is something that we've all tried, which some of us like it, some of us don't, but it's called Salvia Divinorum. And you know, me and my friends had no idea what that was. We're like, okay, so what's it do? And they're like, well, it's kind of, you, you might call it a psychedelic because it gives you visuals and it sends you to other dimensions and it does all this other stuff. But it's not like your typical hallucinogenic where it lasts, like there's a come up and then it peaks and then there's a come down and it all happens over the course of like five to ten hours. Like it's not like mushrooms or LSD. So we're like, okay, so like how long does it last? And they're like, well, it only lasts about five minutes. And we're like, oh, okay, so it seems like a pretty, you know, doable trip. Like doesn't seem too um, dangerous or anything. They're like, well, you'd be surprised because... The effects of it are super intense. And not only do you see things, but you're you're unable to move for for most of it. 
like your body is incapacitated for most of the trip until it's until it wears off and then you can start moving and standing and walking around again and we're like wow that's crazy so we're interested in trying it though um and so and they're like yeah the good thing about it is that it has no lasting permanent effects it doesn't change really your perception of life um, it doesn't change your personality. It doesn't do any of these things that mushrooms and uh, LSD do. And we're like, okay, all right, well, that sounds pretty safe. Let's let's give that a try. So there was this uh, skate shop near their high school, like about 10 minutes from their high school. And it was really cool because you would go into the skate shop and uh, they would basically say like, Oh, hi guys, what are you here for? And basically you just had to tell them, Oh, I want to see the back room. And there was this curtain, like in one of the corners of the shop, this really heavy, thick curtain. Uh that was like a couple that was like a couple inches thick. It was almost like a, a like a magician's curtain or something. And you would they're like, Okay, we'll see you in back. And so you would go through that curtain and and they would go through a door behind the counter. And um, you would be in this little room. And in this room there was weed. There was bongs. And there was salvia divinorum. And um, and it wasn't really all that. Um, it wasn't really all that secret. Like this room wasn't really all that secret. Like you could see the curtains. And you could kind of tell that there was a room, like the way that the shop was built, you could kind of see that there was this room that was not really visible from inside the store. And so, but it could have, it could have just been the manager's office or something like you would never really know that they're selling drugs there. So because it was a skateboard shop and they're just selling skates and what else. So we go in there. And we're like, okay, we want some salvia. And they're like, oh, how old are you? And I think I was 18 at the time. I was like, I'm 18. And they're like, oh, cool, because you only need to be 16 to buy salvia. And we're like, sweet, okay. And they're like, so what, what type of salvia do you want? Do you want the low dose or do you want the high dose? And basically with salvia, there's, there is, it on the package it says like 10x, so what 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 salvia is is that it's processed a certain amount of times and the more times it's processed the stronger the effects are. So it ranges from processed 10 times to processed like 60 times. 60 times being the strongest effects, 10 being the lowest. So we're like, okay, we'll go with a a, a pack of 10 um 10 times processed and a pack of 20 times processed and it came in this package that was about this big but the but the baggies that they came in were only about like this big so it it came in a really small packet and it kind of looked like green tea so we took it home and i waited for a day that my parents were gone and so it was me my brother and my friend from school and we were all going to uh try try salvia my brother had already done it before so he kind of knew what it was like but um we were basically going to try it in the um in my backyard so we put a couple chairs out we actually took a carpet from the garage and we we rolled it out on the grass so that and because it had some designs on it so we thought that you know, if we're sitting around the carpet and we start the trip, we could look down at the carpet and the visuals might get stronger or whatever. So, um, so yeah, basically my brother went first. He smoked it because we were going to do it in turns. He smoked it first. And uh, basically he stood up which was really funny because he said that it immobilizes you, which it did to me, which I'll get to in just a second. 
but he basically stood up, got on our trampoline, got off the trampoline, and then started walking in circles around a tree. He basically put his hand on the tree and started just feeling his way around the tree and was like doing circles around it. And his eyes, what's really interesting about Salvia is when you look at somebody's eyes, they look completely blank, like no expression. It's almost like someone got knocked out cold. Like if you look at somebody's eyes after they get knocked out, like they're just completely gone. They're dazed. And that's the look that you have on Salvia. So he looked completely gone. He was going around. I wasn't really too worried because he told me that it only lasts five minutes. The effects are strong, but they don't have any lasting effects on you. So I wasn't really too concerned. And, um, you know, nothing, nothing really out of the ordinary happened. He sat back down. He was kind of breathing heavy. And then the look came back to his eyes, like the light came back and he was kind of like, he was kind of like, uh, uh, he was kind of like there. And so then it was my friend's turn. And so my friend, um, my friend, um, took it and he basically just was in the chair and he was just basically zoning out. Um, he was basically just zoning out and, um, yeah, nothing really happened. Nothing too crazy happened to him. Uh, he had some moderate visuals, but that was about it. For me, uh, I, I smoked it once. I took the pipe and it's supposed to hit you instantaneously. So I took the, I actually laid down on my back on the ground because I was afraid that, you know, I'd slip and fall out of the chair. So I laid down on my back. I put, well, I sat up a little bit. I took the pipe. I smoked it. I inhaled it. And then I laid back down on the ground and I blew it out and was just waiting for it to hit. And nothing happened. And I was like, okay, JD, what went wrong? And he's like, oh, don't worry, it'll hit. And like five minutes went by, nothing happened. Ten minutes went by. And I was feeling like the gr when I tried standing up, it was really hard to stand. And I felt like there was this tug on my left side. And it was tugging me like this way. It was tugging me this way. And it was like this very, it was almost like a rope had been attached to my ribs and was like pulling me. And that was about the only effect that it gave me. And so I tried smoking it again. And this time I sat down in the chair. And then there was these, there was this triangle that formed from the, uh, one of my, my left hand to my right hand to the top of this tree branch and this triangle formed and inside the triangle were like little small triangles and so they all kind of made the nature and everything in this triangle looked kind of geometric and um and it was very hard to move and it was hard to speak i tried speaking and i tried pointing to Ruby, I tried pointing to the the triangle and tried telling my friends and my brother. I tried saying like, "Oh, look, there's a triangle. Do you guys see that?" But I couldn't speak. I was just like mumbling. I was just like slurring my words, which happens on salvia. But I still wasn't getting like the the effect that they were talking about, where like you're literally blasted into a different dimension. Or you you forget that you're human or like you are transported to a different part of the world. Like all these crazy things. And I was only getting <coughs> moderate effects. Shh. Ribby. <coughs> Shh. So um, I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to make a part two to talk about the the when the, when it did hit eventually.